G'day, it's BK here from BK Gold Detecting on YouTube. Well, today I thought I would do a video on the installation and also a review of the Telstra Selfie Go. Now, if you're like me and you go to remote areas, mobile reception is important. And uh, since I installed this two years ago, life has completely changed. I've gone from uh, complete isolation to having full communication most areas that I go in the bush. Now, just to clarify one thing, if you're in an area with no reception whatsoever, this is not gonna do anything. I mean, 10 times nothing is still nothing. But most of the time, if you're showing no signal on your phone, it's because the signal available is below the threshold for your phone. But with the booster, it can go from below the threshold to sometimes as much as three or four bars of, um, of, uh, of signal. So anyway, um, Let's get going. I'll show you the install. I'll just start off by showing you the hardware. Um, this is the actual booster itself, uh, which is uh, which is gonna go underneath of the seat of my car. Um, I've got it installed in a tray, but I'll talk a bit more about that later. The aerial I'm using is the uh, Trucker's Edge aerial, and I've opted to install on the roof to get the maximum height for the antenna. Uh, and to allow me to do that, um, I've got this swivel mount so that I can still uh, bring the aerial down so I can get under my carport. The other component is the internal antenna, which um, takes the boosted signal and retransmits it so that you can uh, get good reception on your phone. Okay, at this stage, I'm gonna leave this wire just loosely hanging. I'm not gonna tuck it away just yet. You can see here, if you look under the bonnet, that just around the corner here, there's a rubber grommet, uh, which um, allows you access through the firewall. There's actually a spare little uh, rubber nipple on there that you can cut off and you can poke that through. Well, we're looking from uh, under the dash here and you can see the wire there coming out from the uh, rubber grommet. We're now gonna feed that behind the plastic sidewall panel. You don't need to um, completely remove the plastic side panel. There's uh, two clips, one at the top and one at the bottom that just allow you to swing it out a bit so that you can um, thread the cable behind here. And then from there, you can run underneath the carpet channel at the side and then underneath the carpet and underneath the seat there's a hole in the carpet just in the right place for the cable to stick through and just enough length to allow you easy access to install it onto the um, Selfie electronics unit before you put that under the seat. To protect the Selfie unit, um, just in case someone puts something underneath the seat, I've um, made up a little box out of an old Tupperware container. It's a nice flat one and that was used for storing uh, frozen pastry so uh, it doesn't stick up too high and I literally just chopped it in half and uh, put a, an angle up one end and uh, just drilled plenty of uh, air holes in it and a bit of velcro on the bottom and it fits perfectly underneath the seat. Okay we just have a bit of a look under the seat now and you can see there the unit fits quite snugly in there doesn't interfere with any of the um, wires in there which are for the airbag system and um, plenty of ve uh, ventilation under there now I um, just need to secure the wires on the roof now I'm using this extreme mounting tape from Scotch it's weatherproof and very very strong and all I've done is um, cut a couple of small pieces and put them there against the rail and now I'll press the tape into it. So um, here's the, the finished routing of the cable. It's coming out there through the grommet, the firewall, coming up the side here. There's a, a, a small notch there in the seal, which is just a handy. And up here, once again, I'm using the extra strong double-sided tape. Here, along the window edge, can't even see it. Across there, 
and up to the antenna. Now for the antenna, I'm using the um, Rhino folding mount, which is good because it just fits under my carport. Okay, today's the day. Um, my cell fire is installed in my car and I'm out here on the Victorian gold fields and I know for a fact that there's only um, one bar of Telstra here. So uh, straight after breakfast, we'll test out the cell fire. Okay, just need to plug the power in. I've got a socket here just behind the rear passenger seat. Okay, well this is where I normally sit when I'm uh, uh, camping and I want to use the internet. So I'm opting to set my aerial up in the back of my car. Um, and I figure because the aerial is up on the roof over the top there, the, and the uh, cell fire unit is under the front seat, that probably a good location is going to be around this area, somewhere around here. But um, we'll fire it up and uh, we'll move it around and see where the best position is. Well, this is my starting point. It's actually showing, showing no service. Occasionally you get one bar here, but um, more often than not, it's no service. So let's go and turn the power on and see what happens. Um, no service at the moment. It just takes a little bit of time to boot up. So um, we'll just give it a moment. Here we go it's just come on now and there we go we've gone from no service to four bars of Telstra now I'm uh, very happy with that right I'll just turn on the uh, the wave app so we can see um, what's actually happening as far as boost so it's gonna search for the self eye Well, there we go. We're showing boost of nine, which is, well, that's the best. Um, Finally, I'll just test the location at the front of the car, but obviously this is a lot closer to the cell fire unit, which is under the seat there. And um, as you can see, we're only getting a three, which is really not very good at all. So um, I think for my situation, by far the best location, is right where I sit, at the back of the car, where I was getting a nine. Well, just got to sit back now and enjoy the internet. I mean, here even a couple of meters away from the antenna, I'm still getting three bars of, um, of signal, which is enough for me to uh, do the browsing that I need out here in the bush.